1047 Wonk FM, M&T Bank, local business spotlight. So today we are here with Kevin Daly, who is the president of Turbo Hall. Kevin, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I'd love for you to just start out. First of all, tell us what is Turbo Hall? Yeah, so Turbo Hall is a uh, company that um, specializes in bulk trash removal, disposal, and recycling. Um, we're kind of like a, a junk hauler on steroids because uh, we really cater to the commercial uh, industry. Um, we have the largest trucks in the industry. Um, by comparison, they're about three times the payload capacity of a typical junk hauler you might see going down the road. And that's because the kind of work that we do, the clients that we cater to, um, need a company that can do a lot of volume and that can do it at a great price. So most of our business is with uh, residential and commercial property management, uh, businesses, institutions, uh, municipalities. And um, because of our hauling capacity, uh, we can do jobs that others can't do. Uh, we get them done faster and we do them for less. We provide everything from special pickups, trash outs, office furniture, breakdown and clean out, uh, state clean outs. We run community cleanup programs for, for bulk trash, appliance recycling, mattress recycling, and uh, roll off dumpsters, among other bulk trash services that we provide. So what's the process like when, you know, a, a potential customer or a current customer contacts Turbo Hall? You know, what's the process from from start to the actual removal? So there's a lot of ways that uh, customers or current clientele can reach out to us as well as uh, uh, potential customers. Uh, we've got a lot of different channels set up for that to make it easy. Uh, they can call on the phone. Um, which believe it or not, in this day and age, we have actual live persons that answer the phone and uh, can speak to people. Um, you can also get in touch with us uh, via our website at turbohall.com. Um, you can uh, email to info at turbohall.com. You can even text us uh, now. We have a text channel set up. But uh, once, uh, once the uh, request is put in, um, the job, you know, we we can give estimates over the phone um, if needed. If it's a current customer, they they call us or contact us, text us, whatever. It goes right in our uh, cloud-based dispatch system. Um, our trucks are um, uh, dispatched many times the same day. They'll be rerouted to our um, uh, our customers via this cloud-based system. Uh, everything's electronic. Um, all invoicing, everything happens through our uh, our drivers' phones um and everything and um you know we have gps systems in our trucks that we can see where our trucks are at all times we even now have cameras in our trucks so they they see the inside of the truck they see what's happening on the outside of the truck uh, and all of this helps with for better safety as, as well as uh, more efficiency in our dispatching um, and we also like to give as much information as possible to our customers so we can literally pull up to a pile of uh, bulk trash now and the guys on the truck can push a button and it can capture a small video of that pile of trash or that job that's uh, before them and then we can have that archived. And then we also archive pictures of every job that we do and everything for uh, uh, reference if needed from our customers. So that's a process and um, most of our customers are repeat. Uh, they know the deal, it's really quick, it's really easy. If somebody's new uh, to us, we send out our um, account rep. Uh, we'll go out there, an account rep will go out there, give a no obligation estimate, um, and uh, try, to, try to really be a resource uh, mostly for our customers. Uh, we want them, whether they use us or not, to find the best solution for their bulk trash uh, disposal and recycling needs. We're talking with Kevin Daly, who's the president of Turbo Hall. Kevin, in 2020, um, the world basically came to an end. We faced the <laughs> uh, COVID-19 pandemic and a lot of businesses uh, were, were impacted. Some had to close altogether. Uh, what happened with uh, Turbo Hall and, you know, how were you impacted by the pandemic and, and how uh, did it impact your relationship with your clients? 
fortunately, COVID had a very interesting impact on us. Um, one, we're, we're an essential service um, in the waste industry. Uh, one thing you don't want happening in a pandemic is for trash not to be picked up. So our people were uh, continue to be pressed into service. We, we had to do the job each and every day. We have not missed a day's uh, worth of work. And I'm proud to say I have not had one employee um, miss work or, or have to leave the job due to, due to COVID. We've we put in place, uh, we think, really great practices. And we just uh, focus on keeping our people healthy generally because of the type of work that we have to do. But uh, I've always preached to my people uh, over the years, over the last 26 years, that they're real heroes to their community. And it's one of the reasons we use Turbo Man as our mascot. Um, and we have a you know, superhero theme for our company. because so I truly believe these, these men and women are real uh, heroes. And, um, you know, collecting bulk trash, waste industry, recycling industry, it's very difficult work. It's work that many people can't do or many people won't do. Um, but my people get up every single day, rain, snow, summer heat, or global pandemic, and they get the job done. And what's interesting about the pandemic is I think that it finally allowed my people to understand what I've been expressing to them all of these years, because it showed them clearly how essential that they were and, uh, and to, to, the, to the health and the well-being of society in general. So, um, they, they've really performed courageously throughout the entire ordeal, and I believe that they've gained a, a newfound respect for themselves, a respect that I've always had for them. Um, and, I, and I believe those in the community have found that respect as well for these everyday heroes. Um, and that's a beautiful thing to see. Uh, I'm just very, very proud of them um, for that. Um, in terms of our customers, I just say, like I said, we've been for them every day, uh, day in and day out and really haven't missed a beat. That's really awesome, um, you know, that you were able to just uh, continue working, uh, but not only continue working, but then to not have any sort of issue, you know, um, not, yeah. you know, like half your staff catching COVID or anything like right. that. So, uh, I mean, it's a testament to you and to the company, you know, uh, that you were able to immediately start taking safety measures and, and continue to operate mm -hmm successfully uh speaking of operating successfully talk to me a little bit about uh you know some of your needs for turbo hall uh, moving forward and maybe maybe some some goals that you have for this year you know in answer to that question i would i would probably again focus on my people a lot of jobs we provide are entry-level jobs where people come and they don't have education they may not have you know any experience at all in the workplace and a lot of them are from, from underserved communities, disadvantaged communities, and we give them opportunities to have a real career, to get training, to get certification, to make real money. And we, you know, at Turbo Hall, we, we take our stewardship uh, of our people seriously. So we're, we're providing PTO, we're providing uh, health insurance, we're providing a lot of other benefits. And unfortunately, a lot of times in our industry, there's a temptation for other companies and things just to kind of, you know, utilize people as, as um, uh, chattel to some degree, you know, and those sort of real career opportunities aren't there, uh, especially for uh, people that are just trying to get their foot in the door and get a start in life. Um, so... What, what we need, and I think this goes across all industries, all small businesses in the area, all small businesses that are trying to do it right every day, to take care of their people, to be properly insured, to provide really good service, is for customers to support these, these uh, men and women in their jobs. And they support them by providing business, providing the opportunity at the very least for for strong, stable, um, progressive small businesses uh, to have work for their people and not just always try to save a dollar 
in every instance. Um, when you do that, it just you really create fractured economies, fractured industries, and that really doesn't serve uh, the working man and woman uh, well. One final question. You, you you mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I just kind of want to circle back uh, for those that maybe are interested in, in working for Turbo Hall or, or using your services. Where's the best place to find you? Um, our website is, you know, probably the best hub where you can find ways to contact us. It's TurboHall.com. Um, you can always call us as well. Uh, one triple eight Turbo Hall. Easy to remember. Um, and uh, we'd love to talk to you. We're, we are always interested in speaking with uh, good people that, uh, that want an opportunity, that want to work hard, um, and that want to continue to learn throughout their lives. You know, you talked about higher education. Uh, hey, college is great. You know, I'm a University of Maryland graduate uh, from their business school. It's a great experience. Go Terps. But um, there's many ways to be educated, to get educated. And as long as you have a commitment to just lifelong learning, um, uh, I think that's important. And that's certainly uh, the kind of environment and spirit that we have at Turbo Hall. Kevin Daly, president of Turbo Hall. Kevin, thanks again so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.